So now in the type 1 problem, the first condition will be edge or corner. So in this case it is an edge and the second it is an axis inclination and the third condition if it is resting with edge, the same edge is inclined. This is the type 1 problem. In the type 2, this remains same edge or corner, this axis inclination remains same but the third condition instead of resting edge A and D and C, resting edge inclination they will give the axis inclination that is O01 inclination will be given. Let me read the type 1 problem. A pentagonal pyramid of side of 35 mm sides of base and 65 mm axis length rests on one of its edges of the base. Till here it remains same in the second type also. Which is inclined to VP at 30 degree. This sentence will not be given. So remember. So this sentence will not be given. So continuation. Neglecting this. If it is a type 2. Continue from here. Draw the projection of. Draw the projection. When the axis of a pyramid is inclined to HP at 45 degree. And. 40 degree or 45 degree with respect to VP. So this is your type 2. So in the type 2 what you need to observe when axis inclination is given in the third condition what you need to concentrate if it is an axis inclination you need to check for these two conditions. When there is an axis inclination, we have a problem called beta case and non-beta case. Looking to this question, if they have given directly 45 degree with respect to VP, then this will be our beta case problem. The same question if it is 45 degree appears to be inclined to VP. When a appear sentence is given, then this would be a non-beta case problem. First we will solve non-beta case problem. So I will be changing the question accordingly. Appears to be inclined at an angle 45 degree. I am changing this part. So now this is type 2 problem. In the type 2 it is a non-beta case. You just read the question here. It is clearly given. Appears to be inclined. I read the question. A pentagonal pyramid 35 mm sides of base and 65 mm axis length rest on one of its edges of the base. So this remains same. It is resting with edge. Draw the projection of the pyramid when axis is inclined 40 degree to HP. This remains same. The only changes is here. Appear and appears to be inclined to VP at 45 degree. So sentence is continuous. Axis is inclined 45 degree to VP. So what you need to do is directly take this. 45 degree so this is should be axis so O2 O1 mark here this is O and this is O1 so extension of this gives A so after drawing this remember O2 2 you mark here next O2 this point so 2 to O1 and one more the next after O1 you have one more point measure that and mark it here so it is also very simple. This is other way of drawing pentagon. You can have a look. Now this vertical line. You can see the 90 degree. Previous was for horizontal line. For projection of this. It is 90 degree. So draw this 90 degree. And draw this 90 degree. So after this. Mark C to D. So with this point 2. So C to 2 and C to D it remains same. Next from this to E and to B. Then this completes the pentagon. So join this. So this completes the pentagon. And ensure same retain this dotted all these part. So this is supposed to be a dotted line. Next join to over. Join to O. So till here it remains same. 
just you project this part whatever the points you have a b c d project this here project this here since the base is visible dark thus and meet o o1 join this and complete this problem same as the previous previous so intentionally i am stopping here just to know the difference between the beta and non beta case in non beta case what i have done appears to be inclined at an angle 45 degrees so i have directly taken 45 degree it means o o1 axis is directly inclined at an angle 45 degree if it is a non beta case what to do so it remain same if it is a non beta case now we'll solve if it is a beta case remember this appearance sentence will not be given directly i am erasing this so that you can make out appears to be inclined is not will not be given instead of this draw the projection of the pyramid when axis is inclined 40 degree to hp and directly for vp at 45 degree or 45 degree to hp if this is given then it is a beta case problem how to solve this we'll see now so first you draw the same 45 degree here though it is non beta case for a given angle first though it is sorry though it is a beta case problem draw 45 degree or a given angle first measure from o to o1 mark here o and o1 so after marking this remember you have taken the true length o to o1 here o to o1 here first you need to take o to o1 i will call this as x length original length o to o1 is 65 and one more o to o1 is a reduced one i will call this dimension as y so you need to measure this particular so measure this now so first what you have done o to o1 you have marked and you have taken this and take a locus of this after taking locus measure from o to o1 which is a reduced length o from the same point o you cut an arc then you join this now this length is your x length o to o1 and one more is your y length instead of placing the pentagon on x line that is previous original length you need to place the pentagon on y line that is the reduced one if that is done your problem is complete so now i have o o1 you need to place on this y line remember since it is a beta case problem so extending o1 you get a a point same as the previous problem so mark i have named this 1 2 3 so from o to to you mark take 90 degree and next from o to o1 you have already one point and one more point next to that so let me name this as p for your reference o to p which is in between o1 and a you mark this and again you take 90 degree so from 2 to 1 you mark here 2 to 3 also remain same next p point p to e p to b remain same you mark p to e and p to b after this you complete the pentagon so i am using green color because it should be dotted in the later stages now this part supposed to be dark so you dark this and anyhow this supposed to be a dark one o2 a this part should be a dotted so learning concept the dotted and continuous is very clear here then you just join all the points now you project from all the points so since c and d is a reference you can stop somewhere on the xy line only next rest point you can project later on we'll look for the meeting so you have projected from the top again we'll look somewhere from the front to the right side we'll project so after projecting these two remains on xy line so i have marked all the meeting points that is c dash b dash a and this all these intersection of these green color lines and red color line as i told when it is rotated such that towards x y line this apex you directly you can draw with a dark line so 
you can draw this with a dark line. So now from O2 you project here this side and project this it meets somewhere here this is O dash okay so it is just a talk of joining here O2A is clearly visible O2B is clearly visible O2C is clearly visible and O2D is a dotted line and O2C is a dotted line We'll discuss this continuous line and dotted line clearly in the regular sessions. So I will teach one easy concept here. So now this is an axis O2, O1. This completes the problem.